Marina, do you know the meaning of the Italian word asso? Asso? As, as, asso. Guys, do you know this word? It, it's not a bad word. Um, not or, really. Or is it a bad word? Who knows? Okay, guys, don't worry. Um, so basically, in Italian, there are words that sound just like in English. So there are mistakes that people who speak English usually make when they learn Italian. And I want you to avoid such mistakes. So I'm going to teach you all about it. This is Luca and this is Marina. Welcome back to Channel Dolce Vita. Today's lesson is about the false friends. Let's see how many of these false friends you can relate to. Stay tuned. take a look at 18 false friends and uh, if you want to learn more there's plenty more we actually prepared a PDF for you with 120 of them you can download it for free the link is in the description so right underneath the title click on that link and you'll get this uh, uh, PDF it's actually a very good exercise to memorize words so I really recommend that you download the PDF I will I will download it so they don't have to do anything, right? Just Yeah, so guys, you just don't have to do anything. Uh, all you have to do is write in the comments the mistakes you usually make. Yes. When you yes. hear the word. So let's see which one is the most popular one. Okay, um, so let's take a look at the first one, which is not us, so we'll get there. Oh, okay. Really? All right, That's the first funny. one is the verb annoiare. Yeah, to annoy. No, <laughs> there you go. Uh, rookie mistake. Ding, ding, ding. So, annoiare means to bore. Mm. To annoy in Italian is infastidire. So, if I say i video giochi mi annoiano, it means video games bore me. Exactly. Oh. All right, cool. Number two, conveniente. Conveniente. Convenient. No. Convenient in Italian means cheap. Convenient in Italian is comodo. Yeah, okay? sure. So, um, la confezione, uh, let's say I'm going to the supermarket and say la confezione grande è più conveniente. So, yeah, the big package is cheaper. cheaper. Exactly. Oh. Yes. Okay. So, you see how easy it is to, you know, confuse them. Yeah, that's true. Educato. Educated? No. <laughs> Educato in Italian means polite, uh, polite or well-mannered. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, when I was a kid, you know, everybody would tell me che bambino educato. Oh, that's sweet. They didn't mean that well, I... You're still educato. <laughs> yeah, thank you. They didn't mean that I was um, educated. Uh, they meant that I was well-mannered because educated in Italian is istruito. Okay, so they should have said che bambino istruito, not educato, if they meant educated. Mm -hmm. Next one, the fourth one. Oh, this is pretty funny. <laughs> I've seen this happen uh, to people using this in the wrong way. So, fa senso. Yeah. If I say fa senso, to make sense. that's what most people would say. I to, say so. Yeah. Now, try it and use that and see the uh, reaction of people. Also, questo fa senso. Yeah, fa senso means um, it's disgusting, you know, it makes me sick. What? Yes, because make sense in Italian is a senso. Ah, so, okay. big difference between uh, fa senso and a senso. All right, so I'll tell you a sentence. Uh, questa foto fa senso. So, this picture is disgusting you know like I don't want to look at it okay. next one argumento yeah like an argument yeah except the argumento in Italian means topic so uh, ar uh, argument uh, would be translated as uh, um, litigio discussione mm -hmm. but if you say argumento you're talking about some, it's a topic so um, l'argumento di oggi so today's topic is false friends for instance Number six. Oh, this happens a lot with tourists. Um, they go, they go to a um, 
a restaurant or a pizzeria and they, they say, oh, can I have a pizza pepperoni? And what, what would you think you will get if you ask for pizza pe pepperoni? Pepperoni, I don't know. I don't know. In Italian, peperoni means bell peppers. Yeah. It's yeah. not to be confused with the, the salami, you know, the spicy salami pizza, yeah. which is called uh, diavola in Italian. Okay, pizza la diavola. Peperoni, it's not, it's one P, peperoni. It's not peperoni, pepperoni, double P. All right, so mm -hmm. don't. Uh, I mean, it's pretty good. Pizza with bell peppers is pretty good, but you'd be disappointed if you're looking for the other one. Next, um, haha, interesting one. So, preservativo. Let's say um, I, I want a preservativo. Uh, where would I find that, Marina? In the food, in the restaurants. <laughs> sure. If you guys go to a restaurant, and you find a preservativo in the food, you should call the cops right away. In Italy, it's 113, call them right away. Guys, preservativo in Italian means condom, okay? So it's not the preservative you find in the food, because okay. the, the preservative you find in the food is called conservante. Okay. All right, so mm -hmm. keep this in mind. This right? one is in farmacia. Exactly, you buy a preservativo in farmacia, even in the store. But I mean, the point is, it's not something in the food. You should never find it in the food. Next, uh, this is what they say about me. They say that I'm sensibile. Sensibile means sensitive. It doesn't mean sensible. Sensibile is not sensible. So sensible is um, sensato, ragionevole. Well, whereas sensibile is sensitive. I mean, sono una persona sensibile. I'm a sensitive person. Yeah. Do you agree? I agree. Thank you. Um, and this, I think you know this one because you heard this expression many times. Casino. Now, oh, yeah. casino in Italian means either brothel uh, or it means mess. Yeah, usually you use it as like che casino. Exactly. Like, what we, a mess. Use, we use it mostly to say a mess, you know, confusion. Uh, yeah. But it also means brothel. So it has nothing to do with a, the casino where you go and play <laughs> uh, and you gamble. Yeah. Okay, so che casino, what a mess. Uh, what's the casino called in Italian? It's actually the same word but with a different stress. It's casino. So yeah. you stress the O at the end, casino. Casino, very different from casino. Okay, guys, by the way, if you're new to this channel, you might want to subscribe, hit the bell button uh, so you'll be no notified when we uh, release new videos every week. Also, if you like this video, pollice in su, okay? Give us the thumbs up. We will really appreciate it. Leave a comment in the video where we read every comment and we reply to every comment. So we're very happy to do that. Yeah. If you need extra material to learn Italian, again, in the description, underneath the title, the video title, you'll find links to uh, download extra material. Yes. Okay, you're ready for the next one? Absolutely. Now, Roma, when, Ro when is the Asa going to no, be? No, Asa is going to be in, in a bit, in a bit. We'll get, uh, we're getting there, okay. we're getting there. Uh, next one is romanzo. Oh, romance. 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 No, no, romanzo is novel. Romance is storia d'amore. Okay? They're, oh. like, they're basically identical, but they're, yeah, they're, they're, no, they're different. I mean, they're pretty different. Oh, here's another funny one. Okay, don't freak out. Um, <laughs> this is the word a solo. A ah, we cannot say that on YouTube. A solo. It's not. It's not that word. Okay. A solo is not a bad word at all in Italian. A solo is a musical term. Uh, is a solo. You know how the musical terms they all come from Italian. So the word solo comes from a solo. So like a guitar solo. The other word, which in English is, you know. So a solo is a solo. Solo. Exactly. <laughs> And the other word, which in English sounds just like a solo, well, we cannot say it here, but guys, if you download the PDF, you'll find it, okay? 
uh, we don't want YouTube to ban us for saying bad words. All right, so next one, simpatico. We use this word all the time, simpatico. Luca è molto simpatico. So simpatico means nice, pleasant, uh, pleasant. So it's not like a sympathetic. Sympathetic is a completely different word. Yeah, they use it all the time. Simpatico, simpatica. Yes, uh, Paolo è molto simpatico, Marina è molto simpatica. Uh, sympathetic in Italian is compassionevole, compassionevole. So completely different meanings, all right? Simpatico is not sympathetic. Um, 13, pretendere, pretendere. What does it yeah, sound to like? Pretend. To pretend, except that in, in Italian, pretendere means to demand, to claim. When you really, like, i lavoratori pretendono i loro diritti. The workers claim, demand their rights. Okay. So, pre to pretend in Italian would be fingere. Fare finta di, okay? Not pretendere. Number 14 is deluso. Deluso is not to be confused with deluded. So deluso means disappointed. Oh, sono molto deluso. Marina, I'm very disappointed. Okay. Whereas deluded in Italian is illuso. Quite different. This is also very common. Number 15, largo. Largo yeah, like sounds, large. sounds just like large, except that largo is wide. Yeah. Large sure. is grande. Okay. Completely different. Well, I don't know if you have caldo. Uh, I, it's in the list, okay? okay because that's you, what you, they always... Yeah, you made that mistake in the last video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. caldo and largo. Caldo, really cold, like, okay. It's not cold and yeah, it's not it's large. Friend. Number 16, attualmente, which sounds like... Like actually. Actually, except that attualmente means currently. Mm -hmm. And actually is translated in realtà or effettivamente. So if I say attualmente sto lavorando a un nuovo progetto, it means currently yeah, I'm working uh, on a new project. Number 17, we're almost there to find out about us. So number 17, um, sensitivo. So earlier we said sensible, yeah. which is not sensitivo, but we do have the word sensitivo in Italian. The word sensitivo though means psychic. It's a person, a psychic. Yeah, really? Sensitivo, yes. Psychic? Yes, yes. And so if you go to a psychic, you're going to a to see a sensitivo. Interesting. All right, so remember to download the PDF um, and all the extra material if you're interested in that. In the next video, we're gonna talk about hand gestures and you will see Marina and I being like puppets, you know, express dancing. Like, ex you know, Italians, we speak with the hands. We just can't help it. And if so? you, and if you live in Italy, you can't help it either. All right, the word asso is not a bad word. In Italian, asso means ace. It's like when you play cards and you got an ace. Okay? I see. Okay. Whereas the word ass uh, in Italian is. When it's like the animal is as you know. When is the you know your butt? In Italian is a bit rude, so I'm not gonna say it here, but it's in the PDF. Okay, guys. Hope you had a good time with us, and remember to write down which one is the mistake out of these ones, the one that relates to you the most. We'll see you next week with the uh, hand gestures. Right. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Our t-shirts. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Oh,